Welcome back to another colorful keto with Dory. So we are going to make some quick keto on the go snacks that I'm going to take with me to tonight's open house at Life Path Wellness. Whenever I go somewhere where they serve food, I always assume there won't be anything for me. I bring something to be prepared. And if there is snacks I can eat, then I'm just grateful that there is something there that I can eat. But if there isn't, then I'm prepared. So today we're gonna make two of my favorite dishes. We're gonna make ranch-tastic cheese chips. And we're gonna make, if you're Canadian, you'll know what these are. Walnut Crunch Mini Keto Donuts. And they're very much like the texture of a brownie. Most places in Canada, they're not even available at Tim Hortons anymore. So I'm gonna show you guys how to make them at home. So let's get started with our cheese chips. Any melting cheese will work. This is a marble. And you wanna cut off four slices of cheese about this thickness. Four is a single batch. You can do more or less chips, but I do find that this one served batch works out really, really well for me. Then the next step is parchment paper. That's super important. You're gonna put your four slices of cheese out on your parchment paper, and it's gonna go in the microwave for one minute to start. So we'll get that going for one minute. Miss Stacia, I missed your live today. You posted you were gonna do it. I got distracted. I did not get a notification, but I did check it out on the replay. So I'm super excited. Um, Stacia is a new representative, I guess is what they call, for Unique. Unique, Yonique, Unique. I think it's Unique. So hopefully she will do a live with us in the next coming weeks to show you guys all about the amazing products that they have and her brand new kit. I'm super excited. So I'm going to grab out my seasoning. You can add any flavoring that you want to your cheese chips. My favorites are the Ranch-tastic. I really like the Bomb-tastic bagel seasoning on my cheese chips as well. I like Frank's Red Hot seasoning. That works out really well too. So you melt it for one minute, sprinkle your seasoning, and then put it back in for one minute. So I shall sprinkle. And you just lightly sprinkle over top of your melted cheese and that way it sticks to the chips. If you put it on at first, it won't stick to your chips. So those are in for the next minute and let's get started our mini donuts. To make those, you need a cake pop maker or you can use a mini muffin tin for that. Today, we're gonna use Keto and Co Brownie Mix. We're just gonna use enough to do a single serve batch of donuts. So for that, we're gonna use four, three to four tablespoons of the mix, depending on the texture that you want for your donuts. If you want them to be a lighter, fluffier texture, use three tablespoons. If you want them to be denser and heavier, like a walnut crunch donut, you're gonna use four. So I'm using four today, but you can do the same recipe with three tablespoons for a lighter texture. We're gonna add one tablespoon of oil. This can be MCT oil, coconut oil, olive oil, whichever you have on hand and you prefer. One egg. Let me just grab a napkin to put that on too. One egg. And then we're gonna add a little bit of walnut. So I'm gonna crush up some walnut and add that into our mix once we get this all stirred up together. And then I'll grab out our chips. They're done. And we can put them on a paper towel to cool while we get our donuts all mixed up. I do find it's sometimes easier to mix these kind of batters with a fork. So if you're finding that you're having a hard time mixing it, just take out a fork and kind of whisk it together. 
and that works out really, really well. Now, if you don't have a pre-made mix, you can do this with four tablespoons of nut flour and then add cocoa and sweetener. This is easy for me because it's already pre-made up and I just need to mix it all together. And when I'm on the go, I do really prefer things that don't take me a long time to prepare in advance. So we got that all mixed up and I'm gonna add just a handful of walnut. If you track, then you want to measure or weigh your walnuts. I don't really, I just stick to good, clean, healthy, whole foods, and I don't stress too much about my macros and my numbers. But if you have very strict weight loss goals, nuts can be a good stalling point for a lot of people because you don't realize how much carb you're eating in them. So today, little T, we are making mini walnut crunch keto donuts and we're making ranch tastic cheese chips. So I'm gonna grab out our cheese chips because they are all done. And this is what I consider one single serve batch of cheese chips. For me, that's plenty for one serving. If I'm making them for my family, I make two or three servings like this. So I'm gonna let it cool and then we're gonna break it into chips and just put it into a plastic to go bag or a glass container, whatever you've got on the go. So we've got our donuts mixed and we're just gonna pour them into the donut maker. Now this will make seven, six or seven donuts depending on the size of them. And this is one serving. So you can technically eat all the donuts and not feel like you're excessive in what you're having. But the beauty of this is for me, I usually only eat two or three donuts at a time. So I'm able to get multiple servings out of what is really just one serving of brownie mix. It's the same as if you were to make a tray of brownies and just eat one brownie in all six or seven donuts. I like this because it's convenient to take them on the go. And being prepared is key. That's all day long that is gonna make a difference in your journey. It's really, really easy to go out for social functions, to go things where there's gonna be food and there aren't any options for you. So for me, having my own food is key and everybody's used to it. I think in the beginning when you make and take your own food, you feel a little uncomfortable or awkward or people are going to judge you for bringing your own food. You know what, maybe someone will say you can't bring that I will say I've never encountered that. I've always been quite comfortable bringing my own food. And when I go to parties, people come up to me and say, what do you got in your purse? <laughs> what do you got? What did you bring? What do you, what do you have with you today? So if I'm ever going out for any kind of social function, I do always bring my own food. And it's no longer a point of discomfort because everybody expects me to bring my own foods. They just know that I'm going to. So while those are cooking, let's get our cheese chips all together. And I'm gonna get a small travel bag. I was actually thinking I might make a couple extra batches of cheese chips to bring with me, just in case there's anybody else there who's keto and ends up not being able to have snacks. So we just break it into chip sizes. And that's it. Those are our ranch cheddar chips. I like them with any kind of melting cheese. I've done them even with a camembert cheese or a brie. If it melts, you can make cheese chips out of it. So this is how many you would get for one serving, which is four slices of cheese, approximately one ounce of cheese. So for your kids for lunch, that's not a bad size. You can add a little dip some fresh vegetables to go with it. And then they have a really nice, healthy snack. Now, when the light goes off on this, it is slightly different than a wheat-based donut. 
you want to flip them and let them brown a little bit on the other side as well. So that's my pro tip when you're making donuts, when you're making waffles, when you're making anything like that with keto ingredients, it does take a little bit longer for them to cook. So when I do my waffles, the light goes off, I flip it and I let it cook one more time. Mostly that's because it doesn't rise as much so you don't get the top cooking that you do on a wheat-based donut. So we're gonna let the light go just a little bit more on that and then we're gonna flip them. They already smell so good. Like, I wanna eat the batter, don't judge me. I might lick the spoon later. <laughs> I feel like don't judge me is my favorite phrase. <gasps> my darling it's so nice to see you and we've got Virginia and Judy on Facebook as well hello ladies do you have any events coming up soon that you might need to make some snacks for I'm curious we always have so many different holidays and events on the go and work parties and kids parties and you name it we're always out there and sometimes it's difficult to be surrounded by foods that you know you don't want to eat. I don't like to say the I can't have because I can have anything I want, but then I also have to factor in how am I gonna feel after. I can have a regular non-keto donut. Will it kill me? No. Will it make me feel like somebody hit me with their car? Probably. <laughs> so I'm gonna do a quick garbage run and I'll be right back. We don't want to get too messy messy and our light has turned off so now we're going to gently flip our donuts so that they can cook on the other side as well boop, boop. so i'm going to sign out I'm going to finish cooking these up and then I'll take some pictures for you guys and show you what they look like all packed up and ready to go, but you can get kind of a pre-peak. They just need to brown on the other side. And I will see you guys later. We are going to be live streaming from the open house. So stay tuned if you're curious about what's available, Calgary, Strathmore, Chestermere area, what's new and exciting in healthcare. Stay tuned. I'm so excited. I cannot wait to hang out with Dr. Sereno and Dr. Jed and show you guys the amazing facility. I got the full tour the other day and we're going to try to do a recorded tour for you guys tonight. So I will be back in a little while and we're going to have some fun. We're going to go out in public and we're going to meet new friends. Erin, it's so nice to see you, darling. Stay tuned. Have a great evening. And you definitely don't want to miss meeting Dr. Seren now. Just saying. <laughs> See you soon, guys. Bye.